guys, it's Scarlet at Build Across, and I'm going to paint this Texas for you guys today. This is a paint by line product, which means that all these lines are etched into the cutout for me, so it's going to be super easy. I'm going to do kind of like a blending, um, a bunch of different colors, almost in the sunset kind of color range. And this first color I used is Florida Orange, and now I'm going in with um, Barn Red. Now this is Honky Tonk Red, and then I'll go in with Barn Red next. So Florida Orange, Honky Tonk Red, and then um, the next color I use will be Barn Red, which is a deeper red. And I'm just kind of squiggling these on, um, and I'm not blending quite yet. I mean, they are overlapping each other, but I haven't gone back in and blended yet. I'm just basically getting my paint down. Um, and then I'm going to go in with Colonel Mustard and the color Daisy. And then that will um, complete my colors that I'll be using. And again, I'm not worried about going over the horseshoe or any of that. Because I'll go back in and paint that in just a second here. And that will clean up those lines. So once my paint is kind of down and base coated, um, I'll just wipe off the majority of the paint on that brush. And just blend those colors together. Um, and I like to blend in between the two different colors. And then I just blend, blend, blend until I'm happy with the way it looks. Don't overthink it. It's super easy. Um, you can always add more paint if you feel like you need to. Um, just wipe your brush in between the different colors to keep from them smearing too, too much. But if they do smear, I also kind of like that look. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to base coat my little um, bull rider here in the color pine cone. And again, this would be easier if you waited for everything to dry. Because um, Dixieville ha does have excellent coverage, so I am able to do this. But um, still, to keep from your paint smearing, um, you might want to wait until um, it's dry. And now I just went in with the color cotton and um, base coated my little skull here. And then I'm blending some pine cone into it. And then I'm going to go in with Savannah Mist and paint my horseshoe. Now I'm just going to let everything dry completely. And then I'm going to go in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker and begin to outline everything. And just in case you guys don't know, you can purchase this Sharpie marker on our website. It's not a normal Sharpie. It is the Sharpie brush stroke, and I find that it works best for outlining. Of course, if you want to go in with a paintbrush, you can do that as well. And then once I'm done outlining, I'm going to go in with some of the color cotton, which is Dixie Belle's Whitest White, and a number four round out of the brush pack we saw on the website. It's my favorite brush for um, highlighting. And so I'm just going to take that white paint and that number four round and highlight everything. And then that will complete my project. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and have a wonderful day.